Okay, so second day in a row. We're gonna be imaging. I'm actually going to be imaging a little special target here in the start of the evening. And it's a comet. Uh, Pons Brooks or something. <clears throat> it's gonna be right there between the trees. I hope. Yeah. If I can get it. So we're just gonna unwrap this. So the project for the evening is um, Pons Brooks uh, Comet. But <clears throat> while waiting for that, we were just uh, trying some things. Uh, I had to. I removed my Ellen House filter. Um, and while doing so and waiting for the comet, I just imaged or tried to just shoot the ladies. Yeah. So this is the one of uh, an image with the filter. Yeah. So I just refocused and started the uh, process here without the filter. So let's see how this looks. Yes. A lot more nebulosity in there, isn't it? Yeah. So two minutes. That's what we get. Plume there. Plenty of nebulosity around. We got also plenty of uh, um, light pollution, and this is, I think, is reflected light from the tree uh, in front of the telescope, not in straight in line, but still uh, reflects some neighboring lights. I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. One option is to cut it down, but I'm not going to do it now. So, uh, yeah, I don't know really where Brox Comets is. It's somewhere close to uh, right there, yeah? yeah? So I'm looking over there. But it might actually be that I could possibly get it in view here. Cut these branches down. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I might actually slew over there. Okay, so something different then uh, from deep space uh, astrophotography. Uh, comets. Well, we've done that before, but uh, yeah, this was a uh, Pons Brooks something. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we're imaging it. We have like a very, very short window. Uh, so I removed the filter, focused, and yeah, now we're doing it. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah. Uh, doing 10 second exposures uh, gain. 101 uh we'll we'll make something of this yeah it looks okay i'm gonna add a couple of 30 seconds i think just to see if we can pull some more data out of the, the tail perhaps yeah so we just finished that and uh, yeah we're gonna do that i think and there it is <clears throat> right so not sure if the Comet itself looks a whole much more. Uh, get going. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, I don't see the whole lot of the tail in this. We'll see if that, how that can be arranged in the stack. You see a little bit of plume coming out here. Yeah, like comets, it's not my thing. Okay, so let's look at some results then, yeah. Uh, here it is, in all its glory, Pons Brooks Comet, yeah. Well, it's about as glorious as I was able to to uh, make it. And I can't really blame the data, really. It's pretty much the skill set. So maybe I'll just renew this at some other point. But for now, this is as good as it got here. Uh, like, I think maybe I baffled the, the flats a little bit, but uh, also it was very, uh, like, yeah, and the sky was very bright. Uh, it was very uh, low in the sky early in the evening. So there's lots of gradients in here that I just weren't able to get rid of. And in that process, I also lost a lot of tail and stuff. So, yeah. But I mean, it's still here. You still see this green halo. 
a little bit of the right core. You have some streaks coming out the core, forming the tail here. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not I'm not happy, but uh, it's better than the other results I had. I think or the other comments I did. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, after doing this and uh, trying it without the filter, I just thought, well, what else can I do then that uh, benefits from not having a filter attached? Yeah. So uh, this time of year is called Galaxy Season. So let's do a galaxy. Or why not a few? Yeah. So <clears throat> that's what I did. Slid away to the south southeast sky. Yeah. <clears throat> let's look at some some galaxy clusters here. Yeah. This is uh, Margarian Chain. Yeah, slaughter that name uh, properly. But uh, anyway, it's in the Vigo cluster. Uh, and it's this lovely chain of a different set of galaxies. You have lots of elliptical galaxies here, these large ones. Uh, they're like super, very large galaxies. This one is uh, M87. That was on uh, everyone's lips a couple of years ago. Uh, when the Event Horizon Telescope took an image of the uh, supermassive black hole in its center. Yeah. Uh, and then you have, yeah, all these other galaxies. And oh, you just love these little Easter eggs, you know. Good this time of year, yeah. Look at this little barred spiral galaxy lurking down here, yeah. It's an um, NGC 4440, yeah, if anyone's interested. Yeah, so uh, very, very nice. All t just so many little galaxies all over. Yeah, uh, it's really worth uh, a revisit, I think, uh, before summer uh, ruins the show completely. Uh, so this was taken in five minute exposures <clears throat> without the filter then. Uh, for I don't know how many shots this was now, um, but yeah, so uh, longer exposures than I, I previously had. Thing is, uh, so these like two and a half nights that I've been been testing out this hyperdrive telescope that I've been using that it just sucks in light in such an amazing way. I've been doing mostly two minute exposures, except for this one and for the comet, it's all been two minutes. And like I first I did the uh, Rosette Nebula, I did the Monkey Head, uh, Jellyfish, and then uh, the Comet, and then this, and I did quite a few other targets in just these two and a half nights. And yeah, so we're gonna look at the, in the next episode. We're just gonna look at the rest of them. Uh, I'm just blown away. It's just this telescope is is absolutely amazing. There's these quirks and things like for getting it to work properly and I still think I have some work to do on it but the result is still I mean usable and and absolutely great so I love it absolutely love it yeah this autumn if the weather is okay is going to be absolutely amazing yeah uh, maybe I have to find another set up and go traveling to some darker skies perhaps yeah I mean with this you can do a lot in a very short time it's just awesome absolutely fantastic so yeah, uh, next time we'll look at some more images from this little uh, um, yeah trial first light kind of uh, sessions that I've had. Yeah. So uh, on that note, I'll say um, maybe a dark side movie. Okay. See you next time.